All right, well, there he is. It's the male. And if you look closely inside his mouth, you'll see there's a little tail. There's the tail sticking out. They're little miniature versions of the adult swimming around inside of his mouth. I'll hold the camera here for uh, a few moments to see if you're able to spot the babies. Well, that's a good shot right there. Let's see if they poke their heads out. They're black and silver, striped and polka dot just like the mommy and daddy. If our uh, yellow shifter goby would stop kicking up uh, sand, he's doing his job there. Let's see. Sometimes you can actually see a tail fin kicking out any day now, maybe even this evening. Uh, these uh, babies are going to be released and they'll end up in our refugium. We removed, we have removed the mechanical filter socks and uh, what we found that uh, is that once the uh, male gets, uh, let's say it's a 24 day, 25 days uh, of brooding, the young, uh, say that's the term of the pregnancy, you could call it, if you could call it that. Um, on around day 19 or 20, we remove the mechanical filter socks in preparation for the male to spit the young. And he usually spits them out around uh, dusk or dawn. That's when the lighting uh, out on the coral reef is uh, it's the most difficult to perceive depth. Uh, depth perception is the worst, and uh, the young have the best chance of surviving if they're released during that time. Uh, here's the female. So I'm going to switch over to the sump here, just to the refugium where the other babies are from other uh, former clutches, and I'll show you what I'm talking about.